Based on some comments we received earlier, we want to go back to Germany in World War II. And we're not only going to any place, we're going to the most dangerous places in Europe. The concentration camps. There wasn't just one or two of these camps. This is the map of the main concentration camps in Nazi Germany. The camps operated from 1933 all the way to 1945 at the end of World War II. And some of them opened earlier and some opened up later. But in this video, we want to visit one of those camps and see what's going on. We've made plenty of videos about Germany in World War II on this channel. But in those videos, we never talked about the condition of these camps. Since we started reading on what actually takes place in these camps, we were shocked on what we found out. These should be considered killing camps rather than concentration camps. But in these camps, if you were young and looked strong, they would use you as slave labor, then kill you off. In the 12 years these camps operated, more than 17 million people were massacred. And more than 10 million of these people were Jewish people and Russian people, and obviously a lot of other non-German people. If you want to kill 17 million people in 10 years, it seems impossible. We calculated. If you spend 5 minutes on eliminating one person, it will take about 161 years to pull off that number. And that is why they had to be creative on the way they murdered people. For example, the gas chambers. When Hitler would give a speech, it would really put an effect on the German people. And he would speak in a way where they would believe every word he said especially the racist ones. And this huge wave of racism in Germany at that time caused people to not really pay attention in what is going on in these camps. Even if they did care and wanted to say something, they were under a fascist regime. And if they wanted to speak up and complain on what's going on, they would join the people in the concentration camps. Just like we said, all this started in 1933, but in 1939 when the war actually started, that's when these camps speed up the process. They decided pretty much all non-Germans, homosexual, anyone that has mental illness, disabled, roomy, Russian, and most importantly Jewish people had to line up to enter these concentration camps. They would collect all these people in different parts of Nazi Germany and send them to different camps. When the Germans occupied France in 1940, they didn't kill the French people because they were French. But obviously, they cherry-picked the people they wanted in the French population, especially the Jewish people. The Nazis weren't shy about killing Germans either. If you were German at that time and had a child that had an illness, especially a mental one, the agents would come and take that child and take it to the concentration camps as well. The parents couldn't do anything about it either. They believed that the German race should be pure and it should not have anything wrong with it. It's also good to know that they killed 15,000 disabled children in these camps. The insane population that were entering these concentration camps all over Nazi Germany, it was basically overflowing them and they had a huge problem with that. This is when the people that were running the camps asking the government to what to do with this many people. If we want to eliminate these people, it's gonna take a very long time. This is when the Nazis try to come up with the idea to kill as many as people in the shortest amount of time. And their most famous idea is the gas chamber. And the reason was they could murder a lot of people in huge groups. These gas chambers were giant rooms that look like a public shower. And based on the size of the camp, they could fit tens or even hundreds of people in. In the beginning, when they would put the people in these gas chambers, they would release carbon monoxide to kill them, and it would do it very quickly. Another issue they had was the amount of bodies that were piling up, and that's when they started building crematoriums to burn everybody. They would fill up the room, kill everybody, and throw it in the cremator. 
The Nazis that work in these camps were told to never talk about what actually takes place and don't let any news come out of this. And that's why most of the German people didn't know what actually takes place in these camps. They mostly thought there were prisoners in here. There would just be a terrible smell coming up from these camps once in a while. The killing continues until we get to the day when Germany attacks Russia. The Germans would not keep the Russian prisoner, they would kill most of them in these camps. When they entered Russian land, they thought of everything, and that's the gas chamber vans. These were giant vans that had gas chambers behind them. They would always follow the army, and they would make a group of Russian soldiers surrender. They would not waste time and send them inside these vans to be gassed. You guys have probably heard of this. The most famous camp in Nazi Germany was in Poland, called Auschwitz. You could say the employees of this camp were more creative. They told themselves, why should we use carbon monoxide to kill these people? Let's use Zyklon B. As you know, the Germans are very good at inventing new chemicals and testing them on human beings. And we've made plenty of those videos on this channel. Zyklon B would make the process much faster. They sped up the process but there was still something getting in the way. They would not throw the people with their clothes on in the cremator, and they would have to take them off after killing them. And that's why they told the prisoners of these camps to take their clothes off before entering the gas chamber and tell them that they're only gonna take a shower. When you tell a person that hasn't showered in months, we're going to take a shower, they would willingly take their clothes off without thinking. They would very quickly take their clothes off and enter the room. There was a shower in there, a shower of Zyklon B. Auschwitz was also the most active concentration camps in Nazi Germany. More than 6,000 people were massacred every day in this camp. And that's an absurd number for one camp. So who did all the work in these camps? Who would collect the dead bodies and put them in the cremator? Who would clean the areas? Did the guards do this? No, they would never touch them. The prisoners would be doing all the work. These workers were mostly young, strong men, and the guards wouldn't kill them just because of the slave labor they would provide. And most of the Holocaust survivors were stronger young people because they were being saved to be killed later on. They would have to carry dead bodies on a daily basis of people they might have known, or maybe it was part of their family. When you cremate this many dead bodies, there is a lot of ash that comes along. The prisoners had to collect all the ashes of the dead bodies and bury it in the nearby areas. Obviously, the guards would look over them. There is no footage of the Nazi times when these gas chambers and cremators were active because it was highly classified and even the German people didn't know what is taking place and what they're doing to these people. Different groups of people that were in these concentration camps have written about what took place in these camps. The Russian survivors wrote about what happened. Different Jewish people wrote about what took place as well. Rumi people wrote about it. Even some Nazi guards after the war ended wrote about what actually took place in these camps. When you add all these stories together, they're very similar, and you could figure out what was happening at that time. There's plenty of videos of the camps themselves, and it was shown as a prison rather than a killing camp, but there's no film of when the gas chambers and other places were active, so you could see the amount of proof that they left behind. There's plenty of videos that shows piles of dead bodies, burnt bodies, clothes, and a lot of extremely sad footage. And obviously, we can't show it here on YouTube. Most of the videos were taken after the Russians took over different camps in Nazi Germany after they invaded them, especially Auschwitz. When you read about Nazi Germany and Hitler in general, you'll see that in 1944, they're starting to decline heavily. And from both sides, the allies are closing in. When this is all taking place, 
Hitler tells the camps to speed up the killings. And that's if we lose, nobody's left alive. And this shows how racist Nazi Germany was. That they would rather lose the war but kill the people that they consider disgusting. A lot of historians say if he wanted to win the world, he would use these people as slave labor. But the slave labor part was not important for the Nazis. Their goal was to purify the German genes, not keep them alive. I don't know what people want in this short amount of time that they're here. Where do they want to go? Please comment.